Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
Give me a hand with this. Now this is worth taking! Give me a hand over here. Right, let's get back to the ship.
to repair that.
estamos sonne Erdan. Signals flickering. Another anomaly? Yeah. Are you losing touch with me when I find these? Yeah, unfortunately. For a few minutes at a time. Damn. Try to stay with me if you can. I need you to hear these.
Layla's back. I can see her here. Blipping and bleeping on your monitor. Layla, hey. Bex is fiddling with the back end, trying to get a fix on you. No luck? No luck. But she did show me how to decrypt your data packets. I just click a button when you've grabbed the data bits. I got the data. Here it comes.
and an angry drunk. died a terrible death, killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. I will find you and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? What about it, Wayfarer? Are you listening, Wayfarer? Where are you going? Get back here! this an entrance of the dead. You appear much livelier than I expected. I tried to swindle you. So what? Life is tough. It's good business being a dead man. No need to get angry about this. Angry about this. This belongs to the living. What did you say to me? No one has ever dared to come all the way up before. What happens now? We fight. See that you don't. Again? I thought I shut you up last time. Quit st- Now! The Lord is my strength! Enough! 
I can't take any more. I won't bother anybody. Any no one can knock me off this hill. No one this madman will not stop. Quake and seat yourselves! All who want to seat me! You little sh- oh. Pray for your sins! Snuff you out! Oh, I give up! I give up! <coughs> you are the better fighter! Oh. Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating. Oh. Why do you cry out so much? Oh, sorry, friend. I questioned the Lord in a moment of weakness. I crawled this far, but it seems I will never get to Clee Hill. Why go there? Long ago, St. Milberger's prayers brought forth a miraculous spring bursting forth from the top of that hill. A simple visit cures all ailments. In fact, the spring is the source of this small fall of water right here. What? Are you going to take me to Clee Hill Spring? Oh, thank you, stranger! It is a joyous day! <laughs> I fervently hope I'm not too heavy. Huh? Uh, you seem to be of sturdy build. On to Clee Hill and St. Milberger's miraculous spring! Are you, stranger? Someone doing penance? A Samaritan? The Holy Spring! At last! <sighs> Merely breathing the fresh air blown across its burbling waters will cure me. Thank you, good soul. I hope you find your cure. Something wrong. I'm blind, you idiot. I simply had not noticed your blindness. Open your eyes. How can you miss it? My life is shit. I'll never find my way to Clee Hill Spring. Why do you seek that spring? Do you know nothing? The enchanted waters heal people. You just have to show up. But I'll never make it. Unless... Unless you lead me there. Dear Lord, yes. Walk loudly, friend. I'll follow wherever you go. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds. Where are you going? I give up. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds and trees. 
Flowers and clouds. War and squalor as well. Oh, thank you so much for pissing on my dreams. Do me a kindness, would you? Shove something in your gruel hole. The spring I hear. It's nearby. Hurry. Who is that man? What? Uh, who said that? <laughs> I'm right here before you. Do you mock me? I'm blind. Ah, uh, uh, sincere apologies. I did not realize. I meet nothing but village idiots. Why do you speak from the ground? Stand up and greet me proper! Alas, my legs are afflicted. I cannot stand. What good are you? A heap on the ground! I can see that I have done little good. I'll leave you two here to argue. Good riddance, too! It's obvious this piddling stream is useless. I'm stuck, blind as a dead dog, with no one to guide me on my way. I have no one to help me get around. Whoa, oh, whoa. Sometimes I almost lose faith. Wait. What? I need someone to lead, and you can see. And I need someone to carry me. Together, we are as one full man. Oh, heaven sent joy. Oh, all because of this Dane. Thank you, stranger. The not near work a tangled weave. Bowed it. Who was it? Lose something? Polish the family brooch up for my niece, put it down for two seconds, and it's gone. One of the sheep must have swallowed it. That will be one hungry sheep. It was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy, uh, admirer. How will I get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep? My brooch! My brooch! Dear heaven, I'll never get it back! <laughs> One of you swallowed it. Who was it? <laughs> there is nothing tasty about a brooch. <laughs> my brooch, my brooch. Dear heaven, I'll never get it back. in very fine condition. Stop! Have you lost your mind? All my lovely... Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. Did you have to kill Dewdrop? She had such soulful brown eyes. You wanted the brooch. You have it. Your knees will be grateful. Lucky to be here, warrior. You'll see a sight rarely seen by any mortals. Have I walked into another realm? Ota hits rocks as far as the eye can see. The name's Otto Sluggerson. 
I usually try to dodge Danes like yourself, but you seem friendly. I saw an angel swallow the last rock you hit. I swear I did, Ota. Mmm. Nothing more sweet than the crack of a good, clean rock hit. Like a warrior's axe cutting through a shield wall. I would like to see this rock hit you speak of. All right. Here's the taste of my fire. Get ready, kids. I'm impressed, Otis Lackison. If you want, some try and do the same with their bow. But my best time is hard to beat. I would not want these kids to lose a hero by besting you. I like this, Viking. Kids gather around. Are you sure you want to challenge me? Fine, Oda. I will show these children what a true legend is. Oda, will you sign the stone I kept? Sure thing, kid. Nice one. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's body. Well struck, Dane. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy's belly. Well, well. Twang, twang, twang. You've got some firepower in you. The Dane's got a fine shot. Two legends here together. Tell the poets. Thank you, Otis Luggison. This game is joyful. If you add a cup of mead and some popped oats, it could be a fine manner of passing time. You're right, Eivor of Raven Clan. Hey, come on back if you ever want to dance again. Oh, back again? You sure you want another go at it? Not right now. Stranger. What is this place? Do you like it? My wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen. And done! When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today. This hour, this moment, is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her. Thank you for your words, friend. Sigurd, can I have that stone? No, I need it for my tower. Sigurd. Your father tells me you have a love pledge with Sefa. No, not anymore. She called me a whale face and I spit on her foot. Those are not words a lover should use. Does Sefa know you have severed your bond with her? She does. I told her to find another Drenger. Then she cried. I 
do not know why sadness can be so silly. Your meanness will haunt you one day, Sigurd. I would never betray you. Because we are friends. this well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I'm ready to duel. My pet, now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. How dare you? Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row. If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! Enough! You've proven yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. Amid bad men, friendship burns hotter than fire for five days full, and tumbles to ash on the sixth, when the fire has burned out.
Here, I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants... side must be barred. Who is this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. <laughs> 